And Dana, since our reporting on the issue, the regulars here at the park tell me that they've seen the NYPD really stepping up patrols. In fact, we just saw two officers walk through, kind of checking things out, but it certainly hasn't solved all the problems here. And today, the Manhattan Borough president admitted to me the city has to do more. Our cameras arrived at Bellevue South Park around 9 a.m., and it didn't take long to find someone with a bottle of liquor. Six hours later, Robert Perez, who says he's homeless, was still hanging out, even though he knows he shouldn't be doing that stuff here. So this is a kid plate. Right. But we saw you with a bottle of liquor. Yeah? When? We have it on video from earlier today. Yeah, sometimes I drink because I'm, alco I'm, al I'm alcoholic. Around 10 a.m., two city parks enforcement officers showed up and started telling loiterers to move along. An hour after that, NYPD arrived, going bench to bench, telling vagrants to move on. To be honest with you, within the last week, they've done a pretty good job. Tony Pinto, who is not homeless, says there have been a lot more patrols since our last story aired here two weeks ago. Until then, he says he and his friends playing cards were trying to keep the trouble out. But despite the increased police presence, the problems here are not gone. Manhattan Borough President Gail Brewer saw that firsthand today, taking a tour of the park two weeks after we first called her. She encouraged this homeless veteran to go to a shelter. I can't live with anybody. I'm, I'm a sociopathic person. Parents want to know then why he's hanging out near a playground with kids. What can you do and what can other city officials do starting today to clean up these parks and to get people the help that they need? We will work with the police department and Department of Homeless Services to make sure that the illegal activities that are going on in this park do not take place. That we can do. The harder part is to figure out how to deal with the lack of affordable housing and the need for mental health services. And the New York City Parks Department tells me in the last two weeks, they've handed out 24 tickets for people breaking the rules, things like drinking alcohol, obstructing park benches, and adults hanging out in the playground equipment areas where they're not supposed to be unless they have children with them. I'm told those daily patrols will continue at least two times a day. We're live in Kipps Bay tonight. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.